van life versus boat life. From tiny house to tiny boat. This time, being on the Gulf Islands, I'm on the Gulf Islands in the water to go explore my beautiful watery backyard. Lately, I've really noticed on YouTube a couple of different niches, the sailing channels and the van life channels. Interestingly enough, I think there's a large amount of crossover in some of these audiences because van life and boat life share a couple, several, many things in common. Unique points, things that set this type of lifestyle apart from any other. I'm running away to sea to be a pirate! I'm here on the sailboat Porpoise. I'm here with the seals. And I did a documentary about the seals. That was, they were the subject of my short film. The seals, the Salish Sea, and the creatures of the Salish Sea. For those of you who came along to my film screening, thank you so much. Um, All right, got it. Thank you. Now I am usually somebody who lives in a van and this week we're doing something different. Boat life! <laughs> I'm back on the boat. This is a boat I've been on before. I'll link my previous video on this boat where we went sailing in a different location. It was also very very beautiful. It may weigh it around, but it comes out slowly. Okay. Um, this is some of the nicest sand on the coast. Mm -hmm. Really nice under your feet. You can pretty much do bare feet in there. So, good morning. Good morning from the middle of the Salish Sea. <laughs> to be taking a short pause, a moment of break, a little rest from the hectic craziness of life to just be surrounded by water to do a lot of swimming swimming in the ocean yeah. we're going to get to the very end of the spit the colors are beautiful the ecosystem is just fantastic And this is some really healthy sea asparagus all the way around the shore. Mmm. Salty and delicious. Okay. Janice looks fairly red. She may have got a bit too much sun. You does have a sexy rum. Yep. <laughs> The difference between van life and boat life. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Backward somersault? 
You're right. <laughs> Both, I believe, have a steep learning curve. Boat life has just a few more tests than just your driver's license. And the chance of dying if stuff goes wrong is way higher in a boat, in my opinion. <laughs> like this, Janice. Like this, remember? The queen. No finger. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah. Another similarity between van life and boat life. The amount of maintenance can be quite high. Vans, especially if you drive them a lot, require a large amount of maintenance. Boats, because you're in the salt water most of the time, also require a large amount of maintenance. Whether it be fiberglass, whether it be wooden, the bottom of the boat, the engine of the boat, the sails on the boat. Similarly, vans, the engine in the van, the systems in the van, the solar panels, the batteries, etc. It depends on where you take it, and this applies to both a van and a boat. The more places you take it, the more maintenance it's likely to require. Dinner's in the barbecue. 
Just had an amazing swim today. Today was my first time back in the ocean. Normally when we swim, we swim for about an hour, hour and a half. I swam for like three quarters of an hour maybe, only using one arm, not using this arm at all, just kicking with my fins. And I wore a different type of wetsuit so it zipped up the front so I could get it on easier. I am tired and happy and so happy to be back in the water. Yesterday we didn't film it, but we jumped in naked. Wait, the sun's going down. <gasps> Bye, sun. Thank you. And the seal is coming in closer. Just whoops. Just do it. Oh, goodness. Oh, God, there's cake three, four, on it. Five. <laughs> five. We have some expectation here. We have six people here. John? You counted yours up? Yeah, I've got two points. Okay. Good morning. I just woke up and look out the window. This is where I'm sleeping. A little berth up here. <sighs> Waking up and being half awake and feeling this movement, it's lovely. But then yesterday earlier, it was like, whoa, 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 rocking all over the place. It was wild. Well, I was up on deck at that point and I did not get like seasick, so that was good. I've been thinking about boat life and the ability to be off grid and self-reliant and how some of these skills are really useful and the experience of it learning to tie knots learning what it takes to be on the water and how useful that is getting used to it and it partially is also why I am looking at doing more and learning more about harvesting my own protein and uh, eating some of the creatures from the ocean. I love the ocean. I love the ocean beings and a lot of people, well if you love the ocean then you would never ever kill anything. And this part of that is true. For me, I would I could never take the life of an octopus. The octopuses, as you know, are my special creature. If you've seen my octo hat and my octopus stickers, you know that an octopus is a special place in my heart. But some of the other things that we can build relationship with, know where they are in abundance, build relationship to know that there's too many sea urchins and we can harvest them know where crabs are in abundance, know where fish are in abundance, and protect and harvest sustainably and ethically. So I'm doing a lot of work in that space for myself to to integrate it, to make sure that I am doing it in a way that really feels right and in balance with nature it feels really important to be here to prepare for my future because <laughs> fuck knows what's gonna happen to the world in the next 10 years let alone a hundred Excited, Dennis? <laughs> no. Like, <laughs> of course you are. Of course I am. <laughs> this is crazy. I love it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! A little bit more. One more. Come on. One more. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 
and boat life provide an amazing opportunity to connect with nature and places that are not full of tourists. This is one of my absolute favorite things. To be the only person or one of a couple of people in some place that is absolutely stunning, this is gold. This is priceless. Officially sailing. We're sailing, it's quiet. All the sails are up. We're going about five knots. about being at sea that makes all one's worries and all one's stress just melt away. Similar to being in the forest, similar to getting lost in the middle of nowhere. Being at sea where everything is just a long way away feels so freeing. And we have the most beautiful weather for it today too. on the lookout for whales.
both van life and boat life can be on or off grid. You can drive all the way out into the middle of nowhere the same way as you can sail out into the middle of the ocean or a very remote anchorage. You can plug in in a marina and have all of the services, electricity, internet, hot water, or you can be completely reliant on all of the systems you have on board, same way as you would if you took your van on the backcountry roads out in the middle of the forest. We should have brought some wine too and glasses or something. Mm -hmm. Just sat on the beach here and just. Thank you. Bye, ladies. <laughs> Yeah, we, anyway. we have phones with us since we're not swimming. Time, yeah. Where are you going? Uh, Bridge. The trails will direct you. Yes. That way! Oh, I just saw the... <laughs> what on earth are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Jim? <laughs> she's a seal. I think she's more like a beach whale. <laughs> Like I, I brought some blister band-aids, by the way. We're gonna go high, high, high quickly and then get into the trees before it pulls down with rain. Yeah, exactly. Ready? Yep. All right, are we ready? We're gonna take a still from this. Okay. Yay! <laughs> we go. What's your favorite part of the trip so far? I just loved the sailing yesterday. That was fantastic. Yeah. But there's so many favorite parts. I love swimming. Well, What was okay. your favorite destination place to swim? Um, I, they were all so beautiful in different ways. What's been your favorite part of the trip so far? Oh, obviously spending time with Flossie. <laughs> you can pay me later. <laughs> My favorite is just having the opportunity to be on this trip with all of you and in this gorgeous part of the world that I could never have imagined myself in growing up on the prairies. It's growing with a stick. Oh, it has. I was going to move a the stick. stick but it no, is it's growing, growing into it. Community exists around a mutual connection to a way of life. Van lifers have van life meetups and gatherings. Well, that would be a long boat ride, would not it? The same exists between camaraderie between boaters and sailors all around the world. Got the fall side, it's got the summer side, and it's got the little wormy side. Isn't that cute? Gorgeous. <laughs> I'll save it for her. I've heard it said, it's not goodbye, it's till we meet again. And I think that also applies if you live in a van. It's beautiful. I hope we can get down on these rocks somewhere to... It's cool. I like the engineering of it. Thanks for the pickup, Captain. Uh, you're welcome. You're Bye, Flossie. You've been waiting a while. That's okay. They have snacks. They have snacks. <laughs> Asparagus, so much. Thank <laughs> you.
The only negative that I could really think of is people who live aboard a boat in one place sometimes often receive the same sort of discrimination as people who live in vans and are more stationary also. The experiences with people who live in sticks and bricks having opinions about not in my backyard. I think this is a common experience for liverboards in harbours and marinas that are more stationary. enjoying this sailing trip because I really wanted to learn more about the skills around boating. I have recently taken my pleasure boat operator certificate course and I'm looking at taking several more marine courses so that I'm also then preparing myself for any options that I may want in future. Because in this day and age, who knows what the future holds? This is the last avocado. Ooh, it's even more fog moving in there. I thought it was. Coming your way. <laughs> Are you saying it's fun to be numb? <laughs> it's fun to be numb. <laughs> I don't know why I'm putting on my wet the, oh, well. booties because I've got other booties oh. that are perfectly dry. Well, but then you. Do just you have a have preferred them. set? Yes, I do. These ones. Oh, My yeah. three okay. mil booties. <coughs> Great. I need another pair of booties with a hard sole. So, where are we swimming? <laughs> we're, we're swimming last. over to that shore yes. where the sun is, that beautiful morning sun Excellent. that has just broken through the fog and we are going to swim yeah. along there and see what we discover. It's yeah. going to be amazing. It's the first like real low tide swim. Yep. And An early swim. Early? I don't know that that gives it a bonus, but... Oh, it does! Does it? The yeah. octopus are out early? Yeah, what do I just start off 
start off the day. The octopus are out early? Yeah, <laughs> find an octopus for me. Ooh. It looks like there might be kelp over there. Yeah, oh, through there. Yeah, I know. No way. Feels like it. Rub a dub dub. <laughs> Three seals in a tub. Three seals in a tub. So cute. <laughs> Good morning! I thought I would tell you. Oh my gosh, I am so squinty. Um, give you some context as to who the seals are. I keep so we keep saying the seals, the seals, the seals. The seals are a group of folks who love to swim in the ocean all year round. Most of the time, we wear wetsuits. And there is a group of people who do it for fitness, there's a group of people who do it for the biology and getting to know nature, and some of us just do it for the social aspect, or because it helps us <laughs> with our mental health. So I thought I'd tell you who we are, and then you get to understand the context of why we all went on this trip together. Okay. Ooh. While the others have gone for a wetsuit swim, a couple of us are gonna jump in in the buff. Which of course, I can't show you, but maybe you'll just hear our screeches. <laughs> are you ready? Ready. Ready, go. <laughs> How's that? Refreshing. Oh, it echoed. Yeah. Ooh. It is. <laughs> oh no, that's delightful. <sighs> Yay! <laughs> I don't know if I can ever take so alive. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fun. We were in the water for about 15 oh, minutes, 20 oh, minutes. Yeah. And that's why the camera is shaking because I'm really cold. I could have gotten lost for a long time. I kept saying to Janice, we gotta go back. <laughs> I just thought it, that was just incredible. Started on these was it the, how was it, Janice? I can't swear on there. <laughs> but it was just so incredible. <laughs> the best yet. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's talking about Steve. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Um, wow. Alright, we're having salt water potatoes for dinner. Okay. You want me to heat it, put it on to boil? Really put it on the big ring. Yeah, there you go. And we want to put the lid on it. The lid's at the back. Here. Teenies. We you married already. Husband? How much do you know about your husband now? Oh, I and see. they guessed each other right. Mm -hmm. Dating game was at the same oh, time. Right. It is a bowling, it's not a little bowling. Yeah, I get it. It's reversed. 
Like that. No, because you're not going to put this through here. Oh. <laughs> it's my beautiful ballon. Ballon. <laughs> I want to get this right. Yeah, more straightforward. This thing comes up. Oh, around. around. Going around the tree the wrong way around. Pull tight with the tree. That's what happens when you switch sides. You get all back to the front. I'm a righty, but I want to be able to do it both ways. I want to be not be dexterous. And be dexterous is a few other things. Got to be. Yes. I did. Oh, it's homeschooled, so I have no idea. No, like actual diagnosis. But I would say very strongly. Which way around did you say again? Good morning. What's been your favorite moment? <laughs> oh, well, morning tea. Yeah. It's always good. Um, I think I've wanted to go to the Sydney Spit mm -hmm. since we moved here, and I've never had that chance before. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just loved walking on the Spit and enjoying the different scenery there, and also in that beautiful sandy beach mm -hmm. um, and then having a fantastic snorkel there in amongst the eel grass mm -hmm. where we whatever they were thousands of nudibranchs and all their eggs um, on the eel grass Whoa. that was really special and it was a lot of fun Yay. <laughs> yeah i think that was my highlight <laughs> great thank you tights, right? my yes i can't well, find my pants tights. <laughs> My bunk is a chaos mess. <laughs> so I have no pants. <laughs> wow, what a trip. It's been a lovely couple of days and I've learnt a lot about sailing and I've learned a lot about the beautiful area I live in and gotten to see a bunch more of the Gulf Islands and the Salish Sea. And I hope I get to come back again and explore more and spend some time with my beautiful community and friends. I think there's something special about the amount of time you spend together in close quarters, sharing space when you're happy and then when you're really tired. Yeah, it builds really strong connections and friendship. That to me is one of the most important things in life, community. The sun is just coming up. Oh. Yet yeah, another gorgeous little bay. Oh, these are my arm exercises to strengthen my shoulder. This is forwards up front, and then I have to do it sideways, and that's as far as I get. Ow! <sighs> yep. Being in the middle of nowhere, we're one of two boats in this anchorage, and it's quiet. And all you can hear is the waves and beautiful. And I'm so happy to be here. I'm glad I get to share this with you. I'd love to hear in the comments what is a place that you feel community? What is a place that you feel safe? What is the place that you feel most connected to nature? Because I feel that here. <laughs> Bye. 
the sun truly came out and we're back home the trip is over the journey is done much was learned many laughs were had a few tear tears were shed and we're all closer and richer for the experience Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a really big thumbs up and hit the like button down, down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And I wanna say a huge big thank you to my Patreons. You can join the Patreon for as little as a couple of bucks, a cup of coffee uh, every month. And I love to have you included in some of the things that I share behind the scenes. Uh, special plant, uh, paintings and fat file sheets, uh, behind the scenes videos on my van build, current up to date events, um, and occasionally the odd tutorial here and there. Do you want me to put the ladder on, Captain? I love you all. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! <laughs> Thank you. I didn't know I was going to get emotional about it. <laughs>